Good morning. Well, come on in. So where we are right now is in our administrative section. And so this is where we have our offices, our little uh, conference room, uh, the dispatch area where our streetcar operators come in. So let's walk down the hall and we'll show you some things. One of the things that we do here, because this is an electric railroad, right? um, we make our own power. We actually buy one form of power from El Paso Electric and we change it to another power, form of power just for the streetcars. And that's what makes the streetcar run. So this is where we actually work on the streetcars. We service them here and uh, we test them in places where we can make sure we can test them safely. Okay? And just like the place where you take your car to get the oil changed, we've got a, a pit so you can go underneath the streetcar and work on the things that need to be repaired. So let's walk around this way. Okay, now we're gonna go underneath the streetcar and you can see all the stuff that makes it work. Come on, but be careful. First, this is known as the obstacle deflector. If you just happen to be underneath the streetcar, lying down in the street when it comes by, this is designed to save you from getting run over, or certainly for any supposedly semi-large obstacle. Once it hits this, this drops down to scoop it up and keep it from getting mashed underneath the streetcar. Okay? We actually have, if you know, um, streetcars used to make little sounds known as ding ding and you'd hear the bells. We actually have the bells right here. I'll hit one. There's another one. Now as we go further underneath the streetcar, here's the motor and this side of the wheels. And this is the spooky stuff down here. Let's go back up towards the front. And as we head up towards the front, one of the things that uh, you'll also notice is how relatively clean it is on there because we try to keep the streetcars clean um, all the time, as much as possible. It's a challenge, but we do it. You wanna take a look inside? Come on. Let's climb aboard. Now right now, it's dark inside, but there's a few things that you can see. This is where the streetcar operator sits. And they have all the controls right here. They can open the doors, turn on the lights, and as we walk inside the streetcar, it's a little dark, but you get the idea of what it looks like inside one of El Paso's beautiful streetcars. Okay, if we have to go ahead and replace the wheels underneath the streetcar, look, we have a whole set. And one of the nice things about it is, is once you take the wheels out from underneath, it makes it really easy to work on to fix things. It has big electric motors, two of them. This area is known as the yard apron because this is the place where we can also store streetcars outside. The streetcars come into the yard from over here. And then we have things in the ground where the tracks are called switches. And we do things a little bit differently here. We paint part of the switches a bright color so that they can be seen easily by the person operating the streetcar to make sure that they're set in a way that allow the streetcar to go in the direction that they want it to go in. So inside of the wash bay, 
There's a washing machine. The big tall machine down there that's got the blue brush on it and it allows us to walk around the streetcar and scrub it down really good so we keep it clean. I want to talk a little bit about the history of our streetcars because these streetcars are very, very famous. Originally, the streetcars were purchased brand new in San Diego. And then at the end of World War II, the city of El Paso decided to buy them from El Paso, from San Diego because San Diego didn't need them anymore. So the city of El Paso bought 17 of them and put them in service here in El Paso and they ran until 1974. And then at one point, the city of El Paso said, I, we don't need them anymore. And so they were put out to rest in the pasture, so to speak, by the airport. But then when the city of El Paso decided that they wanted to bring streetcar service back, they decided to go with their own original streetcars and they had them completely rebuilt so that they look like this. So now we're gonna take a walk inside one of the streetcars that's parked out here in the yard. So what we've done to rebuild these streetcars is we brought them up into 21st century standards and amenities. So we have electronic signs, and you're gonna see some things in these streetcars that were never, never, ever imagined by the people that designed them. Our streetcars were originally built in 1939, okay? And as you look around, you're gonna, you'll, you'll see that we've done some pretty amazing things to them. Everything inside the streetcar is now modern, but one thing, these handholds, these are the original handholds from when the streetcar was built in the 1930s. It's just been completely re-chromed. It has a wheelchair lift, something that was never imagined by the original designers. The wheelchair lift extends out and allows a wheelchair to come on right from the sidewalk and picks it up and brings it up to the top step where it could come inside the streetcar. We have seats that fold up and in this designated area we can accommodate two street uh, two wheelchairs. We can accommodate two wheelchairs. Plus these are bicycle racks and we can have bicycles come on board. Streetcars now have Wi-Fi and this is known as a Wi-Fi access point. So now you can sit in the streetcar and uh, have access to your email, um, to maybe perhaps music, you can read a book, whatever. There it is. Uh, it has all the modern amenities that a uh, transit vehicle would have, but again, these streetcars were built in the 1930s. Come on outside. This is the outside of our maintenance and storage facility. We can store all six of our streetcars here. Some are going to be stored inside, some are going to be stored outside. But normally they run every day. So it doesn't really matter for the most part. And we'll take the ones that are ready to go uh, and then kind of stack them up, right? And uh, at the start of our service day, we open the gates and they just go right out. As you can see, this is a very modern looking building. And the wires that you see up on the top, that's how we supply power to operate the streetcar. Here in the sun, now you can really see the splendid paint job that was done because the streetcars were in pretty bad shape originally, uh, being as old as they are and certainly when they were stored outside. And that's it. You've now seen the streetcar from a bunch of different angles, including underneath. I'm glad you stopped by and certainly anytime you want to come visit, be my guest. So thanks. Have a nice day.